guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is Monica and today I'm finally doing my full review of the new palette from Jeffree Star the thirsty palette this is part of his larger overall summer collection but I was really only interested in the palette so that's the only part of the collection that I did pick up I ordered this directly from Jeffree Star's website the day it released for $48 this is what the palette looks like if you haven't seen it yet interesting confusing a whole lot to talk about in this palette so in this video I do a couple of looks I've used this palette for weeks I used it enough to actually wear out the pattern in quite a few of the shades here which you'll see in the swatches so in the video I will show you two looks that I've created with this along with my first impression and then I will also show you full swatches there will be timestamps below if you guys want to jump to any of the looks or any of the swatches so that you don't have to sit through the whole video because I'm sure it's going to be a little bit long with everything in but I did want this to be thorough. I did want this to be a full review and not just a first impression, especially since this does include a new eyeshadow formula from Jeffree Star, which are these like metallics right here in the middle. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Like I do for all of my palette reviews, we're gonna go ahead and do swatches first and then we'll do some of the looks and then I will give you my final thoughts on the palette towards the end. Again, all timestamps are going to be in the description box. So let's go ahead and jump into the swatches of every shade in this palette. As you can see, a lot of them don't swatch the best with a finger. If you guys want to start seeing brush swatches along with finger swatches, let me know. But I find that that's what the demos are a little bit better for, so you can see how they actually apply with the brush. But I find that the majority of the mattes just do apply better with a brush. I like to use a big fluffy brush for all over my crease. You can pack them on with a brush, but if you are trying to just pack them on like on your lid, it is better to do that with your finger. I like that this palette gives you a range of shades. I've, I've got a lot to say about this middle row that I'll get into later, but just excluding the middle row for now. I like that I can go from like a neutral look using the corner shades to a very bright, vibrant look. I love the blues. I love the yellow. I've used, I've done a look just with the yellow and I loved it. It was very pigmented, blended out amazingly. And I didn't think I was going to like this top row because it looks like your everyday run-of-the-mill warm neutrals, but they do have nice undertones and they do, everyone looks different on your eye and you can really make a beautiful look out of these shades. Today I went for a neutral look because every other look I've done has been very bright, very loud. So I did want to see just the, versati the versatility the versatility of this palette because you can go from nice, neutral, everyday, subtle to out there bright summer. So I have to say the quality of the shades 
of the mats of the top row and the bottom row did really impress me even though they don't swatch the best the best way to see this are in the demo so let's go ahead and jump into some of the looks that i was able to create with the palette Okay, so with all of that out of the way, I have to say, I was very impressed with the quality of this palette. Every shade is beautiful, even the middle row. I was extremely skeptical about this middle row of shimmers, but I have to say, the quality is amazing. I can wear these, I always use a glitter glue with no matter what is on my lid, but I can wear these on my lid. I have one of them on my eyes today. I have the shade Filthy Rich all over my lid. Actually, no, I have the shade Plunge. I did Filthy Rich in the next look. So I have Plunge all over my lid and then I blended it out with just the neutral colors, Parched, Subtle, and Drizzle. And this is an amazing look that I could wear this to work and be perfectly fine with like a nude lip. Maybe the liner is a little dramatic, but I was feeling a very nice, bold, brown liner with this look. With the glitter formula, there's a little bit of fallout when you first apply it, but I don't see any fallout throughout the day, which is incredible for me and with other formulas like that, because even some of my other favorite 
glitter formulas I see fallout throughout the day at least a little bit with these I only see a little bit of fallout when I'm first applying them and that's just to pat it into the glitter glue after that I don't see any fallout overall my opinion I love the shades individually I love the formula I think it works well I'm not a huge fan of the overall color story here I think if he was gonna do this palette he should have done the entire palette like this with these nice shades like imagine these as the glitter shades in the middle that's what I wanted to see I didn't want neutral glitter shades in a summer palette I should have had a bright pink glitter I should have had a bright yellow just something other than these neutral palettes because I really think let me cover cover up this bottom row Okay, so I'm going to cover I really think like that could have been a nice palette by itself, right? This bottom row kind of, even though it was the most look forward to part of the palette, like for a lot of people, myself included, I just don't think this palette works together. I don't think the color story is very cohesive. It kind of feels like two palettes got squished together. So while I enjoy all of these shades, I'm not pulling... Like, I find myself almost sticking to certain, like, columns, almost. But when I go for the bright colors, I stay here. I'm not really bringing in any other the bright colors. When I'm reaching for the top row, I can do pretty much the top row for a look by itself and then bring in one of the glitters. I'm not using the glitters with these bright colors down here, which is kind of what I wanted out of this palette because they don't really fit well. If that makes sense like if I'm throwing this in my crease I'm not gonna reach for one of these glitters it's the, the tones don't look that well together if I'm doing a normal look like this and I was gonna throw a pop of color on the lower lash line you could do that but I found the yellow doesn't pop that much on the lower lash line it really pops on the lid so you'd really have to, you'd be stuck to like these two blues right here so overall I'm not upset that I bought this palette I'm glad that I got to try it out I'm very happy with the quality I just think that the color story could be a lot less jumbled and I would have been happy like even if he had released a palette with just that but then later on done a palette with like just like blues and yellows and pinks and purples like I would have been happy with that I would have bought two palettes I just it's, it's it's just so strange because I know the formula is good I love the colors I just don't like them together like this so that's all I have to say about the palette after testing it out for weeks and weeks, thoroughly enjoying it, but also at the same time being very, very like conflicted about the actual story in the palette. Overall, I think it should have been two separate palettes. And then one should have been summer. Those glitters would have looked amazing for fall. Imagine a fall palette. Ugh. I wanted it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to give this a thumbs up before you leave. And I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.